Pineapple. Jonah's making appetizers. Good job. That's ready. I'm switching out laundry already. Looks like it's gonna be another warm one today, which I'm very happy about. I made pancakes and grits this morning, so we have four pancakes left. I'm gonna get those wrapped up, and I'll just stick them in the refrigerator instead of the freezer because somebody will eat these in the morning or either later today. So all the kids now are making up their beds, brushing teeth, getting ready for school. I'm about to warm up my coffee. I had these, I found them whenever we cleaned out the cabinets the other day. I got these to go coffee cups a long time ago. Back whenever Titus had a guy working with him, Colby was working with him for a while, and he would get here early in the morning and they would leave and it was still really cold, you know, back then, a few weeks ago. But anyway, I would send them with coffee or hot chocolate or something and I got these cups so that they could just take these and not have to worry about, you know, keeping up with my cups and bringing them back. And I still had some in there, so I've been making my coffee in this in the mornings. It's gotten cold though, so I need to heat it up real quick. So yeah, I'm trying to decide what I want to make tonight. The hot ham and cheese, or do we want to do like some grilled chicken, or I have the Kirkwood chicken sandwiches, or do we want it to be pizza night? I started this tea earlier, but haven't finished making it. I'll go ahead and get it made. It feels like it should be like spring break. I mean, it just feels like wonderful. We still have like a month, over a month maybe, until spring break, but it's just because it already feels like spring. so that the cheese will melt because this is some ow this is some thick bread so i'm doing that so the cheese will melt yeah do y'all do a steam grilled cheese my wife does steam grilled basically she uses a universal top <laughs> you're doing a good job it's ready So it is now like almost three o'clock, 2.34. It is 2.34. Everybody just finished with their schoolwork, except for Jake, he's still doing some stuff upstairs, but. I don't see a dinosaur eating. I see a deer. Y'all, he had a little tag right here. It was a John Deere tag on there, because it's a John Deere shirt. He hated that thing. What happened? Daddy got it for you. Yeah, he got it off. He got that tag off. He hated that little tag. <laughs> Daddy got it. It's just a little bit. That's okay. He cut it off a long time ago. I shouldn't have brought it up because now he wants that little piece off. I hate that tag. You hate that tag? <laughs> Do you want Mama to get the rest of it off? No. Okay. okay. Let me go get the scissors. Is that better? It doesn't come all the way off. I mean, it's like, you know, it was sewn on there, so. I'm trying to figure out now what I'm gonna do for supper. Did we already talk about this? I feel like we already talked about this. So I thought about the hot ham and cheese sandwiches, but then some people had grilled turkey and cheese sandwiches for lunch. Titus had one and Jonah. And then I thought about pizza, but Tyler ended up wanting pizza for lunch. He cooked one of those Aldi deep dish pizzas. So he fixed that for him and Jake. What did Cece have? Oh, she had a bologna sandwich. So now I think I'm gonna scratch those two ideas that I had for supper for the pizza and hot ham and cheese. You ready to go outside now? I'll wash the dishes when we come back in. It's another one of those days we gotta turn on the air conditioner. Yay!
All right, y'all, it's time to cook supper. It took me forever to decide on what I wanted to make tonight. I'm washing these potatoes. So I decided that tonight would be the grilled chicken salads or sandwiches or the Kirkwood chicken that we get from Aldi salads or sandwiches. People can chop those up into little pieces and put those on salad or just have a sandwich. I'm making some regular potatoes in the Instant Pot and a couple of sweet ones. All right, we've got the potatoes in there. We're adding in a cup of water and I'm just gonna cook these for, I'm gonna go 14 minutes because I really want them to be tender. And sometimes if I just go, you know, around eight or 12 minutes, they're not where I want them. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna go 15. While the chicken's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and mix up a cake. It is the ultimate spring cake. It's carrot cake. I'm pretty sure it's called to die for carrot cake. We made it a couple of years ago, I guess, maybe three years ago. We're bringing it back today because it definitely feels like spring out there and y'all might wanna make this for Easter. I'm serious, it is the ultimate, it's the best carrot cake. It's kinda like the cakes that some people call hummingbird cakes, it's kinda like that. Before I can make it though, I have to make sure I have pineapple down here, I think I do. I know I have everything else, I just gotta make sure I have some pineapple, it doesn't matter what kind, cause I can crush them up if they're bigger pieces. Oh my goodness, I just saw this Coco Lopez cream of coconut and it's making me want a smoothie with that and a banana, a coconut banana smoothie. Oh my goodness, it is so good. Mandarin, oh, pineapple. All right, y'all. The first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and crush up this pineapple since I have pineapple tidbits. We need them to be crushed. So I'm just gonna use this little mini food chopper. We need one cup of crushed pineapple. So I'm gonna get a cup out of here and you don't wanna drain it. You wanna leave the juices in there. Here's a cup, we're just gonna put it in here. We're gonna put the pineapple into a bowl and go ahead and crush up our carrots. Okay, chopping the carrots. All right, and of course, if you just go ahead and get shredded carrots and the crushed pineapple, you can skip this part. I'm just using what I had here. All right, so we're gonna mix this cake up in three different parts. For the first part, we need a cup and one fourth of a cup of unsweetened applesauce. And then we need a cup and a half of sugar and three eggs. So we're gonna let this mix on low while we get the other stuff ready. And it might help if I plug it up. I do that every time almost. There we go. Now for the dry ingredients, we need two cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now we'll let this all mix. All right, now we put in the carrots. This is about two cups, the pineapple, and one cup of coconut flakes. Last thing, a teaspoon of vanilla, and you can put nuts in here, like pecans or whatever you wanna put. I'm out, I didn't realize I was out. Usually I have some pecans, but I'm out, so we're gonna leave those out this time. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this to stir this since I already took my thing off because that's all you have to do is just stir it together. So I'm just gonna spray and flour my pans here. And you can also put down some parchment paper if you want to on the bottom. John is making appetizers. You want cheese crackers? Here. Yeah. I'm making cheese crackers. Oh, you want to make some? Well, it's Friday night, and just like last Friday night, we have some extra teenagers here, so I went ahead and ordered a couple of pizzas because I know everybody likes pizza and everybody might not want a chicken salad or a chicken sandwich, so I just ordered some pizzas. They should be getting here in about 30 or 40 minutes. You know you must be a fun dad if even your kid's friends want to come and help you work on your porch on a Friday night. They're playing football and cutting boards at the same time. Oh, that was a nice catch, nice catch. One can always count on Jonah, always, for the snacks. He's the snack man. Get me one of these. <laughs> no matter what's going on, Jonah's gonna bring the snacks. I'm just gonna set this up with some different vegetables over here for salads. 
because I'm sure some of the kids will want a salad even with their pizza. Need looking, babe. Here I am. No more. 